guys and welcome to another episode of Baseball News. I'm your host, Ivan C. Lopez, bringing you the latest of baseball this whole season. Alright, today we're going to be talking about the National League Division, Central, Central Division. Alright, so there are the Cardinals, the Pirates, the Red, the Brews, and the Cubs. So, let's start with the Cardinals right away. I think they're going to be on top of the division. They've been on top for the the lap. The last few seasons, years, but it doesn't mean you can take, cannot take anything from the other teams. I mean, the Cubs, for example. I mean, come on, making moves all of a sudden. Have Joe Madden, their new manager, having John Lester for their ace pitcher for like what seven years? Now they have Anthony Rizzo. They have a bunch of young guys. Chris Coughlin, I think I don't know still with them. Um, let's see, Javier Baez, uh, Starling Castro, man, oh man, they have Jesus Montero, I think it is, for, the, for catching now. If they're not gonna be contenders this year, probably in about a couple of years, max. I mean, it's I think it's about time they win a freaking World Series. Don't you think, guys? I mean, come on, over a hundred years, it sucks. You I mean it's weird because you you hear the famous uh, saying, a last a bad thing doesn't last a hundred years. Well, we say in Spanish, though. And look at them, they're, they're having won a World Series in over 100 years. Literally, it just sucks. So I think it's time they win. So at least having a couple of winning seasons, first and foremost. Uh, should be interesting how the, the Cardinals and the Cubs compete. Also, with them are the Pirates. I mean, er, <coughs> excuse me, a few couple seasons now. They have been... Have, having good good seasons uh, and McCutcheon, Pedro Alvarez uh, you know even though Alvarez strikes out a lot but he can hit you like 32 home runs right there Andrew McCutcheon a freaking MVP about two years ago now in 2013 yeah all 2012 something like that uh, let's see they have great cat they have great pitching I guess uh, it's also about time to make them pass the first round. They have they were eliminated last year in the wild card game, and two years ago they were eliminated in the division series against the Cardinals. So they went to five games, but hey, that's how it goes, right? I mean, I think it's about time they win. Let's see the Reds. Yeah, the Reds will have a healthy Brandon Phillips. That should help him a lot with uh, with Joey Bottle, Jay Bruce. All those guys should help immensely with the with the guys. Leak the pitcher league. Uh, I. Uh, I don't know. If they should be. A, they should be. You know, fierce competitors. I'm not. I'm not sure if they're gonna be making the postseason this year as well for the Milwaukee Brewers. I don't know. If they have enough to make to the postseason. Even though they did sign K. Rod for about two years, now they. I think they need more batting besides uh, Lou Croy and Braun. I mean, they need more. Uh, they have, yes, they have Carlos Gomez, but just only not just three in the middle of the lineup can just hurt everyone. I mean, you put them together, but they need someone to protect one, one another. I mean, okay, you can have Carlos Gomez as first uh, as a leadoff guy. He can dash, damage you anyways. You know, single, he can steal bases, or oh, he can he give a uh, leadoff with a home run. You never know. That's, that, that, that's the, the thing about Carlos Gomez. He can just make the spark like that. In terms of Lucroy and Braun, Braun has been having a down couple seasons with injuries and couple like, uh, what you call him accusation for PEDs there uh, you know other stuff he doesn't want to talk about it anyway they need more like a couple a couple more decent players that can help them provide for the team you know I mean, it's, uh, don't get me wrong, the Brews have always been a good team since the 2008 season, 2007, we, when Sebastian, yeah, the 2008 season when Sebastian was with the team. Uh, ever since that year, coming forward this year, uh, this, uh, what, seven years from now, now, they've been great. You cannot take anything from them. But, again, I don't know if they're going to make the postseason as well, the Reds, but... Uh, let's see how it happened. That's uh, Central, National, NL Central. It's pretty competitive. Uh, like in a certain points where everyone starts to win and it wins and losses can be pretty devastating. Pretty, pretty hurtful. Hurtful, yeah. Uh, you can be in a streak of five winnings in a, in a row. You can be tied for first place. And that one loss can cost the whole season right there. But let's see how it goes in the NL Central. I expect a lot of competitiveness. You know, a lot of competition actually. Competition. I will say it's gonna be for me. It's gonna be between the Cubs. Actually, I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm throwing in the Cubs, the Cardinals, and the Pirates right there. One of those three is gonna be first, second, and third. Not necessarily in that order, order but I'll see. It's gonna be a pretty tough division in the National League this season. Well, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit like down there and subscribe for more more uh, baseball news. Uh, hope to see you next time. All right? Peace.